Hello, this is Paul with Metro Pool Service in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I want to talk to you a second about a question I get asked a lot in the fall. Uh, like the, in Oklahoma, we cover a lot of pools, but some people choose to leave their pool open. So I get asked a lot of times, should I cover the pool or should I leave it open? Well, here's a couple of things to consider. If safety is an issue in your backyard, I suggest that you get a safety cover, like a loop lock. It's drilled into the deck, and this one, this particular pool has some of the drill anchors in it, and they have a cover that they could put over this. But another thing to consider is, if you're planning to put your house on the market and sell it, you might want to keep the pool open, which is the case here. They want to be able to show prospective buyers that the pool works. Um, if you're not going to cover your pool, your options are you can leave it uncovered and, and winterize your equipment, shut your pump off and everything. Many people here in the Tulsa area do that, and some others choose to um, not cover their pool and leave it running all year. So I'm not going to go in this video into all the details about how to winterize a pool, but I want to show you something that you need to be careful of if you choose the option of leaving your pool open and leaving your equipment running all year circulating. Okay, here's the equipment for the pool that I was just standing by. They've chosen to leave their pool uncovered and they're going to run it all winter long. And we get really hard freezes here in Oklahoma sometimes, so we want to make sure that nothing's going to freeze and break. So it's okay to set the valves however you want to on the days where it's warm enough to not freeze, but when that temperature is going to drop down in the teens and 20s and stay there, you want to make sure that every valve is open at least a little bit. So look at these valves. Here's the suction side valves. Here's the pool suction the water that comes from the pool and then moves through the pump and here's the water that comes from the spa and then moves through the pump and filter and ultimately back through. On this side these are our returns how the water gets back to our spa and to our pool. So right now the way it's set up with this jammy valve is the spa is slightly open so there's a little bit of suction through the spa and the pool is wide open so we've got a lot of suction coming out of the pool. On the return side We've got a little bit of return going to the pool and most of our return wide open going to the spa. This is causing the spa to overflow, but the point I want you to see here is we want to make sure on a cold night that this valve is at least slightly open on both ports. This is wide open, it's going to be fine even on a hard freeze, and this port over here is slightly open. If it was off, it would be in this position. That puts it slightly open. The same thing over here. This port wide open, this port slightly closed. To summarize this subject about whether or not to cover your pool, I just want to say that if you choose to cover your pool, I recommend that you use a good drilled into the deck safety cover like a loop lock and not a solid cover that uses water bags. I don't think you'll be very satisfied with one of those. And if you can't afford a loop lock, type safety cover, I recommend you don't cover your pool at all. So if you leave your pool uncovered and circulating, I um, want you to be sure to maintain the water balance, keep the leaves dipped out of the pool, and beware of power outages. If you have an electric power outage in the middle of the night and it's 15 degrees out, you're going to need to be able to get up and get that equipment drained as quickly as you possibly can. And that's the drawback to leaving your pool uncovered and circulating because if you leave town, you're always wondering, am I going to have a power outage when I'm 100 miles away from home or is it going to get to 10 degrees some night when I'm sound asleep and power goes out and my equipment freezes up. So the last option is leaving your pool uncovered and winterized. A couple of points about that. It, before you, before you uh, winterize your pool, make sure the water's balanced and then make sure you keep the leaves dipped out of the pool and also maintain a chlorine residual in the pool with a chlorine float and the little three inch tablet